What's going on, y'all? We are out here today on the Hobie Links, and we are getting ready to go out here and target some flounder. Should be a pretty decent day. We got a lot of good conditions. I'm gonna be dropping all sorts of tips, tricks, information uh, while I'm targeting these flounder along the video, so there's gonna be a lot of good information in this video. But anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. We're gonna get in here, see if we can find us some flounder. All right, we're fixing to come in here, get on this bank and start paralleling it around, following it through. We got an incoming tide right now. Uh, and the lure that I'm throwing is our Southern Salt Hoodwink. This is our white minnow of death. And I got an eighth ounce jig head tied on. Uh, we're gonna be fishing relatively shallow this morning, but I will talk a little bit more about my setup later on. Let's just see if we can get in here and find some fish first. Oh, he bit. There he goes. That feels like a flounder. It is. All right, well, that right there is flounder number one. Let me release my bell a little bit. Come here, dude. Boom. Right off the edge of that point right there. Chill out, chill out. Let me get that hook out of you, buddy. All right, well, that is our first fish came right off of this point right here. Just kind of got started. That's my first grass bank coming down through. And this one hit it pretty hard. Let's get a quick measurement on her. That is 16 inch flounder. We'll go ahead and pop this guy on a stringer real quick. We're gonna come back in right here where we caught that flounder and continue around this point right here. So we got the tide that's coming in right now. And whenever I'm targeting this grass like this, I want to make sure that that water is flowing through the grass. If I can see the roots at the base of that grass, the water's too shallow uh, for this pattern. So I do like it to be more on the high tide cycle. It's a little low right now, but we did get our first flounder and uh, that's a good start. But yeah, I just wanna make sure that that water is flowing through the grass. What that's gonna do is get that bait pushed up in the grass, which is why those flounder are nosing up. Those flounder are gonna nose up, particularly around choke points like this right here. And they're just gonna sit there and wait for that shrimp or finger mullet bull minnows to kind of come along them out of that grass. And that's where they're gonna ambush them. Got him. Oh, missed him. He had it. Golly. Oh, flounder on. Flounder on. There we go. That's flounder number two. A little bit smaller than the first one. We're going to be letting this guy go. Just continuing to ease around this grass. Went through a real slow period. Our tide's not really moving a whole lot right now. That is our second flounder. Beautiful little guy. Go ahead and let you go. But it should be getting ready to pick up because our tide is really ripping right now. Wind's helping it too. Water's starting to leave out of these creek mouths. And that is just about perfect. We kind of got a little bit of a late start today because we were anticipating the tide being slack around 9 a.m. or so. So we didn't even start fishing till close to eight. And then here we are starting to fall. And I got a feeling we're about to start picking up a lot of fish. There he is, another one, same spot. Oh, he let go of it. All right same exact spot and another one smoked it all right y'all we are out here flounder fishing we've already caught two but real quick i'm curious to know what are y'all's pb flounder my pb is 26 and a half inches caught it in jacksonville florida i'd love to know from y'all what is your pb and where'd you catch it comment below i'd love to see from y'all what y'all's pbs are comment below Oh, good thump, good thump. 
Is that a redfish? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that is a bycatch of flounder fishing right there. It's a little guy. Fooled the crap out of me because he dumped it just like a flounder. All right, dude. I do appreciate it. This would be a legal redfish right on the edge of it. We're in Alabama. Redfish got to be 16 to 26 inches. And uh, we're not going to keep any redfish, though. Just keeping flounder today. Good bite. Oh yeah, he's on it. He's on it. Be a flounder. Staying down like a flounder. Staying down. If it's a flounder, it's a good one. It is. Good flounder. There we go. Come on. I mean, that one just smoked it. Finally get to pull out the net on one. Look at the size of that guy. Come here. Come here. In a net. Boom. I do not advise <laughs> netting fish like that. Uh, I pulled the fish out of the water and dropped them in a net. Y'all look at this guy. Oh man. That dude right there is thick. Alright buddy, let's get that hook out of you. Oh y'all look at that flounder right there beautiful 18 inch or so man dude's got some gnarly gnarly teeth on them come here let me get you get these grips in you get you on the stringer nope 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 Well, there she is y'all beautiful flounder sitting around 18 inches or so man i'm gonna go ahead and pop her on a stringer just a beautiful beautiful fish caught on the southern salt hoodwink white men of death color man what a beautiful beautiful thick flounder right there these are definitely one of my favorite fish to catch and by far one of my favorite to eat so this is the lure that we've been throwing right here it is our hoodwink it is our own personal lure uh, but it is a five inch flute style bait has that long tail right there with a ball on the end And you can see how soft that plastic is right there. And as I'm throwing that lure out And I'm just sitting there bouncing it Rapidly bouncing it across the bottom that tail is just fluttering just just above the bottom And that's what's triggering those flounder to bite. Now, this is an amazing lure at not only catching a ton of flounder but getting the bigger ones to bite as well i will link these down below y'all head over there check them out they are awesome awesome flounder lures as y'all can see by now that water is really pushed up in that grass nice the tide has started to fall and we're starting to get bites now a falling tide is superior to anything when it comes to flounder fishing they really respond well at the start of that falling tide it's like those flounder getting their staging positions around the ambushed areas and whenever that tide starts to fall that's when they start feeding pretty heavily something's on it something's on it oh trout good trout come here <laughs> oh man get in the boat Look how fat that trout is. My goodness. Oh man. Look at that. Not what we're out here trying to catch. And I mean, he choked on it too. My goodness. <laughs> oh. Well, that was not a graceful release at all. But he got off. We we're going to let him go anyways. Well, that right there would complete our slam all out here trying to catch a flounder and have caught speckled trout and redfish as a bycatch dude got me all tangled up 
all right well that was interesting y'all check it out i am trying to hit 40,000 subscribers this year and i need all of y'all's help to do that so if y'all are enjoying this content please be sure to hit that subscribe button we also have a ton of awesome content coming y'all's way all sorts of overnight camping trips flounder fishing redfish offshore you name it we got it coming so be sure to hit that subscribe button to make sure y'all get to see all of that content but yeah we're gonna get back in here see if we can catch some more flounder all right we'll go ahead and talk about our setup real quick so i am running a chubby rod 72 medium fast action which is an amazing rod uh, for jigging i use it a lot for speckled trout and redfish anytime i'm throwing an eighth or a quarter ounce jig head um love this rod it's one of my favorite it's only about 130 bucks uh so it's a very affordable rod and it is 100 percent american made i will link uh, these rods down below as well. I am running a Daiwa Tatula Elite Reel and I got that paired up with 15 pound suffix 832 braid to 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. Running about a four foot leader and eighth ounce G head and we already talked about it. Got the Southern Salt Hoodwink and our white mineral of death color. Uh, but that's pretty much been the deal today. This is the setup that I've been using. Oh, well, we have hit a ton of marsh line we did catch three flounder missed a couple of other ones the flounder bites just been a little bit off today not really sure what's going on with that um they could just not be feeding i did look at the sonar charts and they're a little off today uh, i don't put a whole lot of stake in that but you never know we did catch three of them two were really nice ones but catching that trout back there that trout was probably one of the fattest trouts i have ever seen it was over three pounds definitely pushing three pounds and it was probably a 19 20 inch trout so definitely one of the fattest trout i've ever seen but catching that trout has got me wanting to go out here and uh check on a summertime trout spot that i have caught a ton of trout so we're gonna head over here to this next spot and uh, we're gonna switch gears and go into catching trout all right we are rolling up on our next spot right here this is an area that is just loaded with speckled trout in the summertime we're early summer right now it is pretty hot i'm gonna say the water temperatures are definitely well off in the 80s so i think the speckled trout will be here hopefully we can find them water looks great uh it's a little clear out here so let's get after it see if we can find some speckled trout oh my goodness what a bite holy moly There he is. All right, well that's speckled trout number one down here. That tells me they're definitely there. I lost, oh, that's a good sounding male right there. All right, see you, dude. Nothing big, nothing crazy. I did get a heck of a bite down around the front that I wish, wish I would have landed. See if we, oh, we just got hit again on a very next drop okay well there's fish here all right well not the schools or the giants that we thought we might find there we did miss a really really good strike don't know how big that one would have been but he really did hit pretty hard uh and then caught that small one missed a couple of other short strikes but all in all we had an amazing day out here caught some nice flounder found a red ended up completing our inshore slam with a super fat trout and uh yeah just all in all it was an amazing day started off only trying to target flounder and uh ended the day out here trying to get on some trout so awesome day out here i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all would hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time